I was so looking forward to this one, and as the thumbnail has suggested, <clears throat> I, I, I can't escape the feeling that this is a bit of a confused misstep when it comes to this story. Um, it's going to be very hard to review this film because I, I'm going to have to get into some level of not so much plot spoiler, but kind of character spoiler. Um, and apologies in advance if this review is a little bit all over the place, but I've got a lot to say about Challengers and I didn't really enjoy it, man. It's, it is, it, here's the premise of the film. So, You've got, you've got this group of three people. You've got Zendaya, who is this absolute tennis prodigy, young tennis prodigy, and she has an untimely injury, all of this stuff you see in the trailer. And she ends up being able to not do that thing which she's so good at. She snaps her knee, no more tennis for her. Um, she's coveted by these two young up-and-comers, played by Josh O'Connor and Mike Faced. And... They're both after her, they're both into her on a physical level, they both want to bed her, you know. They both they both want a bit of nookie with Zendaya. And ultimately where the plot leads us is to a place where they're vying not only for her attention, but in the long term they're vying for her to be their coach. Or so the trailer would have you believe. And, and, and this is where it kind of gets muddy. And this is why I have to kind of get into the fact that this is neither a sports movie, nor is it really an effective drama. Um, starting with the sports movie thing. Now, don't get me wrong. What I'm about to say there are exceptions to, which I will quote. I think to get the full breadth of grandiosity, you know, the dramatic stakes that go hand in hand with anything sports related. Um, let me get my camera more centered. The, the dramatic stakes that go hand in hand with anything sport, be it a World Cup final, a Rugby World Cup, the Olympics, whatever. The, the bobsledding with cool runnings, ski jumping with Eddie the Eagle. The event where the drama unfolds has to have a level of gravitas to it. Now, I know some people may now be screaming, oh, but what about Rocky? What about Rocky? Well, here's the thing about Rocky. Although the match that Rocky was in in that first movie you know it wasn't MGM Grand or anything but Apollo Creed being involved not yeah Apollo Creed being involved with that match elevated the match to have dramatic stakes and this is where the problem with the challenges lies as a sports movie is this isn't a big tournament or anything this is literally a throwaway challenger tournament and Editing-wise, the movie jumps back and forth a lot, but it's all centered around this challenger tournament where you've got Mike Faced's character, who is the more successful of the two, who's, we find out, married Zendaya, and he's having a crisis of confidence, and Zendaya suggests that he enters this challenger tournament to get his confidence back up before going on to bigger tournaments, because likely in this challenger tournament, he's going to wipe the floor with everyone. And so we come to the final, and the whole movie intermittently jumps in and out of this final match that is between the two friends, Mike Faced and Josh O'Connor's character. Now, Josh O'Connor, he's not had the career trajectory that Mike Faced has had, and he ends up in this challenger tournament, and of course, da -da -da -da, the final is the two of them together. We don't see the tournament unfold. We just see the two of them in this tournament together. There's not very much in the way of sporting spectacle you see a few serves here and there and then we get back to the dramatic stuff so as a sports movie it's kind of an uncompromising failure because the stakes are just not high so what the movie tries to do is to bring the stakes up okay we need to add in some character stories some character beats some dr some, some dramatic gravitas to make the sporting gravitas feel that much greater now they have one very clever moment in the movie where Zendaya explains just what tennis means it's not just sport it's more than that it's a relationship between two people that's what she strives for then she has her untimely injury um <laughs> and here's where the problem with the movie lies because all of the three people in this movie Sandea, mike face josh o'connor they are all inherently freaking unlikable Zendaya is 
bordering on having a bit of narcissism, a bit, bit of narcissistic personality disorder. She wants to be God worshipped, which is fine. She's a tennis prodigy. I get it. So she's got a God complex about her. And the other two guys, though they're meant to be friends, the whole movie they just spend playing a game of one-upsmanship, stabbing each other in the back, betraying each other. There's not a single moment in the movie where I felt myself kind of latching onto one character, being like, oh, okay, I kind of get where you're coming from. I just spent the whole movie kind of going, you're all pricks. I wouldn't want to be involved with any of you. Now, if the grander message is, well, yeah, to gain success and to be successful in this sport, you know, take no prisoners. There are no friends. But that's a direct contradiction with what I told you was being framed as the sporting event. Because if they're, th if they're this level of deprived for basically little to no return, because it's a challenger tournament, ooh, like th the return on their investment of depravity, you know, the depravity in this case being really unpleasant individuals and just bad people in general. You know, if on the back end of that, they were like winning Wimbledon or the US Open or the Aussie Open or Roland Garros, I'd be like, you're a prick, but at least you got something to show for it. There's nothing really to show for it here. It's like they're bad people and they're not even competing really at the highest level. So it's almost like this cesspool of you're not really particularly good sportsmen. I mean, you're pros, obviously, but you're not at the top of your game and the movie's not presenting you that way. None of you are good people. And th th there's nothing really for me to get excited about here. I do have to give the movie credit for one thing because it was incredibly well edited. As I said, I do like the way that they jumped back and forth in this challenger tournament to bookend the story. Um, but you do have to stay switched on because we're talking about 13 years ago, two weeks later, seven weeks before, seven days later, two hours before. Like the movie literally just jumps all over the place. And the, the one thing actually, the, the, another thing I'm going to add to this, and this is where the movie really was let down was by the marketing campaign let me just play up the final trailer for you here because there's a moment let me let me bring this up there's a moment which is going to be coming in a moment uh there's a moment which is going to be coming in the moment there's good english for you let me just let it roll here this one of the sexiest movies ever made so not if listen this movie was sold to me as being a deeply dramatic character piece book ended by being an engaging sports movie and being presented in the marketing campaign as being as i just quoted one of the sexiest movies ever made there is nothing sexy about this movie nothing that threesome scene you see between zendaya and the boys in in that which has been in every single piece of marketing there it's two minutes two minutes and it's done there is nothing else that happens it so in terms of it, I, look, I'm not looking for hardcore porn here. This isn't what I'm about, but th th there was nothing sexy about this movie. Nothing. So I don't know why they chose to go down the route of presenting it that way. I mean, there's a scene where Zendaya straddles her boyfriend, who's Josh O'Connor at the time. She straddles him, and you see her booty. And she has a lovely booty. But without objectifying Zendaya, which is not what we're here for, there's nothing sexy about this movie. So the fact that it was missold and i mean radically missold as being some sort of sexy drama it wasn't the fact that none of the characters were really that good of people and all of the hubris they had wasn't rewarded and the fact that they went to the levels of human depravity they did and i say levels of human depravity it wasn't really anything that deep this has seen it all before hey i slept with your wife oh i cheated on you oh i've i betrayed you oh i got a one-upsmanship on you it's like okay yeah cool and what have you got to show for that nada you're in a challenger tournament whoopee effing do and then in terms of it being a sports movie, as I just said, it's a challenger tournament. So the movie doesn't, it tries to do everything and it kind of ends up just not being able to live, deliver on any front. So as a result, I've got to give challengers a very mediocre five and a half out of ten score. And don't get me wrong, I wanted to love this movie. 
but I couldn't. It, it, it was just it, it's it's fine. I'll say one thing I probably should have added. Zendaya's performance is very good. This is she, she is very very good in this, which is why it got after ten minutes or so of bashing this movie, it got a five over a five score. Zendaya does elevate this movie. But there's nothing really to get excited about here. It doesn't shine a good light on tennis. It doesn't have any original dr- dr- dramatic beats. The editing's okay, but beyond that, eh, there, there's there's not much to be had here. Um, I personally can't quite get my head around why everyone's losing their mind for this movie. But hey, I want to know what you guys thought. Are you one of the people losing your mind for this movie? Did you like it? Leave your thoughts in your comments below. What you know, if you haven't seen it. Is this review making you want to go and see it to make your own opinion? I'm, I encourage that. I wouldn't say watch my review and then don't see the movie, but always go and see the movie and make up your own mind about it. But once you've done that, there should be a subscribe button down here for you to check out another video for you to watch up here. So please go ahead and do all that goodness. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys right here again very soon on the Silver Screen Dudes. Bye for now.